So I want to tell you guys another story from from college. That this was this was I think one of、uh, the scariest nights that I had、uh, at, at college, which led to like a very terrifying、um, aftermath,、uh, a, a very uncomfortable situation. When I was a, a sophomore in college,、uh, I roomed with this kid named Chris, and we were going to get a suite. Right, we were going to we we were going to upgrade from just a regular dorm to a suite. Because we were we were badass sophomores now,、uh, and so we put in for our suite, and we had like our other roommates picked out,、uh, and, and you know, so there was there was a、uh, uh, five of us that、uh, that wanted to live together. And about a month before our、uh, our, our semester started,、uh, the other three were like, "Hey,、um, it turns out that we are rich, and our parents." Are going to purchase an apartment for us,、uh, and I was like, I don't think you buy an apartment, but I think that's <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> and so then, you know, me and Chris had this conversation where we were like, What are we going to do? And at the, it, it turned out that we, we were going to live in the dorm rooms, we were going to live in the suite, and the school was like, Well, we're going to give you like random roommates. Like it's too late for you to like pick anybody else, so we're just going to kind of give you. People that we think are going to work out, and if it doesn't work out, we'll we'll adjust as the year goes on. We're like, whatever, that's fine. So we just basically kept to ourselves, right? So our room was basically like we decorated our little room, and on day one, we met our our roommates, who were these Pakistani international students that had just come to the states, and they like I don't think they really knew. A whole lot of English. Like I met them for the first day, and I was like, "Hey, I'm Krish. How's it going?" And they were like, "Hello." And I was like, "So you guys excited to to start school?" And they were like, "Hello."、Uh, and I was, <laughs> so I feel like there was like a big language barrier、uh, there. So so for for a little while, like we just didn't have a fifth roommate, right? Like we had、uh, a third room, like a very small third room, and no one occupied it. Uh, and you know, we like, but the brothers kept themselves. We kept ourselves. So our living room was kind of barren. Like we really didn't have anything in the living room. I think they set a TV, like one of those fucking like tube televisions, out there. That I, I don't know if they ever hooked it up or, or not. Like nobody really fucking used it. It was just kind of this empty living room.、Uh, and then I found out、uh, that Julian was going to move in. And Julian was the fucking coolest. Like he was the coolest kid on campus, right? Like I remembered him my freshman year because he would always show up to the dances, and then like he was like this awesome dancer, and like he wasn't even like tall. He was just this short, like Jamaican black dude from Jersey that like kind of knew how to dance, but it, he very well. And like all the ladies wanted him. And like all the dudes wanted him, right? Like everybody wanted to fuck this kid.、Uh, <laughs> I was like, this guy's the best. <laughs> Look at him dance. There's so many women around him, and there's like no women around me. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like if Julian's gonna move in, that's gonna mean that there's more women that'll show up to my room, and that's cool. So I was very excited <laughs> about Julian to move in. So、uh, this is this is you know he he moves in、uh, around this time around early October right and around Novemberish couple weeks after he moves in I you know it's it's the middle of the semester that you know things that,、uh, there's more assignments things are kind of getting crazy、uh, Chris my roommate had、uh, decided that he's going to sleep in his girlfriend's room、uh, forever and that's <laughs> <laughs> so basically what he did. So I'm I'm exhausted.、Uh, you know, I was in like the the graphic design lab till till like midnight, and I show up to my room and I see like Julian sitting on the couch and he's got a bunch of stuff all over the place in the living room. And I walk in and I was like, "Hey, Julian, what's up, man?" And he he was like, "Listen, I'm I'm just I'm just cleaning up.、Uh, to don't worry about this stuff. This stuff will be this stuff will be fine. It'll be taken care of by the morning." And I was like, "That's cool, man. Don't you you do you. You're." You're fine. I I just I I gotta get some sleep. I'm gonna go to bed. And he was like, "Yeah, you go to bed, and by tomorrow morning, all this stuff will be taken care of." And I was like, "That's great. You 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 have a good night." And I and I went to bed. And you know, about an hour later, I hear a knock on my door. 
And yeah, you know, I'm like, I just, I just want to sleep. I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to, and I'm just going to pretend to be asleep and not answer this knock. And then there's another knock at the door. And I was like, Hey, it's Julian. I, hey man, I really got, I just got to tell you uh, what's going on. And I was like, fuck. All right. So I got out and I opened the door and I was like, Hey man, what's up? And he goes, listen, I just got to, I'm cleaning up my life right now. There's a lot of chaos in my life. So I got to do a lot of reorganizing. Uh, I, you know, I, I believe in Jehovah and Jehovah has told me that I need to clean up my life. And I was like, that's very nice. Uh, but do you think that Jehovah can just let me sleep? <laughs> because that's, that's really all I give a shit about right now. I was like, you do whatever. I'm going to go and sleep. And he was like, that's cool. That's cool. I just needed to let you know, you know, like where I'm at. And I was like, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm glad like you're in a, you know, getting your, getting yourself straight. I'll see you in the morning. And he was like, great, great, great. So I shut the door, I go back to bed. About another hour, hour, 10 minutes goes by. You know, that was like 2.10, 2.15 in the morning. And I hear another knock at my door. It was like, hey, it's Julian. I, hey, man, can I just, I just need to talk to you for like just a minute. And I open the door and for now, Julian is standing there basically naked with a very small towel around his nether regions. Uh, <laughs> and he's just wet, like head to toe, but the towel is bone dry. So I don't know what the, what the towel was doing, like clearly not doing its job uh, because <laughs> the, all of the moisture was on him still. So, so he's, <laughs> just fucking and i was just like what is happening and he goes listen man i just gotta tell you i believe in jehovah and jehovah wants me like i feel like you know we we got off on the wrong foot here and and jehovah wants me to make this this right so i i I just want to let you know like i i i want to respect you i want to respect your space like this is our space i want to make it our space i want to make it comfortable i just need to get my life in order i don't mean any disrespect to your space and i was like hey hey man um, I, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That's cool. You do what you got to do. You know, you and Jehovah, you guys hang out, you guys have a cleaning party. I, I don't care. I'm so <laughs> tired. I'm not even going to ask you why you're soaking wet right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fucking tired I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't care. (laughs) And I was like, hey, you and Jehovah have a good night. I'm going to bed. And I shut the door and I go back to sleep. And then two hours goes by and around 4.30 in the morning, there's another knock on the door. It's very aggressive this time. And I go, Julian, go to bed. I don't care. And they go, it's campus security. I go, fuck. So I jump down and I open the door and I go, what's up, man? And he goes, where's Julian? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, and the other, there's two campus security. One's roaming around the living room. One's asking me where Julian is. The other one keeps going, where's the knife? Right? They go, where's the knife? Where's Julian? Where's the knife? And I was like, I don't know where either of those things are. Mm-hmm. We are not supposed to own knives on campus. That's like not allowed. Uh, I have a butter knife in my room, but it, <laughs> it is plastic. And I can guarantee you. <laughs> That thing can't even skin an apple. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of decorative at this point, right? So the camp, like campus security is freaking out. And, and I was just like, dude, I don't know. He was cleaning up some stuff. And the, the last time I saw him was like around like 2.15, 2.30, something like, something like that. And they're like, you don't know where he went? And I was like, no, I have been. Do you understand what time it is right now? Like most <laughs> Most mammals are sleeping right now at this hour. Like that's, <laughs> that's what most North American animals are doing right now. So you should, you should probably just let me do that. And they were like, well, if, if, you happen to, if you happen to find Julian or if you happen to find the knife, I was like, I don't even know where to begin with the knife situation. Uh, I'm so tired that I'm not even going to ask you about it. And then I shut the door. And for some reason, I locked it like that was going to prevent people from knocking on the door. And I went to bed. And then around 
9, 30, 10 o'clock, uh, I get a phone call from uh, a gentleman named Don Tressler, right? Don, Don was the uh, alcohol and drug uh, counselor at our college. And, and Don had, uh, had been through some shit. Uh, one of the first times I met Don, he was kind of sitting and hanging out with some of the freshmen. And he was like, let me tell you about this one time that I did heroin. And I was like, I'm 17 and have never hit the bottle before. So I, I don't know if this story really applies to me, you know? <laughs> like I haven't even started to fuck up my life yet. So <laughs> like let me let me let me take a step into that world just like a little bit before you can be like, here's what heroin does. No no. I'm gonna smoke some weed first. Is that do you have a story about it? Do you no? You're we're gonna go oh, you're gonna talk about uh sucking dick for crack? Okay. Okay, did not. That's a weird turn. Can can I leave this conversation? No. Okay, you're doing this because you care about us. That's cool. And I don't think anything has made me want to drink more than this situation. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he was a super sweet guy, right? Like it, 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 he would uh, he would show up to talent shows and he would play country music. He's he passed away since he uh, had a uh, I think he had a heart condition that. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago, but he was a super sweet guy, right? And, and he calls me, he calls me at about nine o'clock in the morning, uh, nine, nine thirty in the morning. And he goes, hey, heard you had a rough night. And I was like, oh, I kind of feel like it's still happening. Uh, and he was like, well, why don't you come to my office? You know, take your time, um, get, get, get yourself some coffee, get yourself something to eat, shower, and, and just come meet me in my office. And I was like, sure, uh, that's fine. So... Uh, it took me like an hour and a half <laughs> to to wake up and like make coffee and shower and and had to, I'm not a morning person uh, uh, by by any stretch of the imagination, uh, so it takes me a little while. Like I I I set uh, 48 alarms to get up in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, so I got up. I went to Don and he sat me in his office and he was like, "So, how was your night?" And I was like, "You know." Fucking damn well how my night was, you son of a <laughs> <laughs> How dare you sit in your office, look at me in my eyes, my very exhausted bloodshot eyes, <laughs> and ask me that question. And he goes, well, uh, he was like, so what happened with Julian? And I was like, well, he kept talking about Jehovah. He kept talking about cleaning and getting his life straight and like reorganizing and doing all this stuff. And he was like, and? And I was like, I didn't care. I just wanted to go to bed. I just I just need sleep. That's all I want. I've, I, like, I've had this big, long project. I've been up for like all day, and I'm just so tired. And he was like, yeah, yeah, uh, I totally get that. And he was like, look, uh, here's what's going on with Julian, and you need to know because you're, you're, uh, you know, you're one of his roommates. You experience this, uh, you know, head on and maybe you can explain this to uh, your other uh, international student roommates because clearly there's a, uh, a language barrier there. So uh, I went, so he sat down and he said, uh, Julian is was schizophrenic and has not been taking his medication. Uh, wow. And that has spiraled him to think that he is talking to people that aren't there. Um, and unfortunately, that has manifested in uh, whoever he believes Jehovah is. I'm not sure who that is. And he goes, I don't believe that you're in danger. And I was like, great. So what's this about a knife? And we're like, we don't know. Uh, all we know is that he was in contact with some folks and then he stopped texting them and we're not sure where he is. And he's like, why don't you just go back to the room? I don't think you're in danger. I don't think he, we're more concerned about him at this point than than you. And I was like, look, man, I don't think I'm in danger either. I just want to go to sleep. And he's like, yes, and you should, because we've contacted all your teachers and told them that you had a rough night and you are excused from all of your classes for tonight and also tomorrow. And I was like, fuck yeah, you're the man, dude. You're the man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to leave before you get into a really intense uh, train spotting story about heroin. Uh, 
because I'm not like in a, a mental headspace to handle that shit right now. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, go get some sleep. So I went back, passed out, right? Uh, and I didn't see Julian for a while. I, I, we, I didn't see Julian for, for a couple months. When I did see him was around April, right before, um, right before I think it was Easter break, maybe. I always get these, the spring and Easter break confused. Uh, but m one of my friend's boyfriends was in town, and he was training to be in MMA, and he knew that I, I would work out a lot. I would go to the gym, and I would, you know, do, do, do like running and lifting and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, why don't, why don't we work out together? And when someone training to be an MMA fighter says, hey, we should work out together, uh, the correct response is, you can go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because they're not they're not an MMA fighter yet. They're in, like what they can't just be they have to be in a ring shape like an octagon. Like that is that's the code. Like you can't just get into a street brawl. And like they're also they don't know all the MMA moves just yet. So like I feel like you know I could I could take them for maybe a minute or I could have somebody else take them on my path. <laughs> you know, like I could do that. But I said, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Uh, and we did this like super intense ab workout, which ended with him suggesting that if he was able to hold me, he could flip me upside down on the pull-up bars and have me do upside down hanging uh, <laughs> sit-ups. <laughs> and at that point, I, I did tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> so I get back to my room and my dad was coming to pick me up for, for break. And, uh, you know, I, I knew that he was a, a little bit away. So I got back to my room, I'm drinking some water and, uh, and all of a sudden my stomach doesn't feel great. Right. And who do I hear come in, but Don Tressler and Julian. And I haven't seen Julian since November, since this whole incident. Um, and you know, I, I, I opened the door, my stomach doesn't feel great. And I was like, Hey, what's up? And he was like, Hey, how's, how's it going? Or how are you? You know, we have the little pleasantries and he was like, Hey, I'm just grabbing some of my stuff. I'm actually heading back to New Jersey and I want, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. And I was like, that's cool. Um, I'm going to jump in the shower in a few minutes. Is that cool with you? Or do you need stuff from the bathroom? Whatever. And he was like, no, 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 go do what you need to blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, so I'm getting all my stuff ready to go. And, and then I feel like this intense pain in my stomach. And then immediately after, I shit my pants. Um, and now I shit myself. Just <laughs> induced by the gym. Just, yeah, and, <laughs> yep, because I did the super crazy intense ab workout. And my body was just like, you know what we should do? Uh, we should tell you to go fuck yourself. So <laughs> here you are. And now I I have to make it into the bathroom, but Julian's room is right next to the bathroom. And like, I haven't seen, and I was just like, this is insane. Like, how am I going to get to the bathroom to just like get rid of this and shower and clean myself? This, I don't, I haven't seen this person in a while. I, how do I, do I just go in there and be like, hey man, uh, I need to use the bathroom uh, immediately because I shit my pants. Like that's not, <laughs> <laughs> nobody has that conversation as an adult. You know what I mean? So, so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll listen for when they go into Julian's room and then I'll just fucking beeline to the bathroom and I'll be in the clear. Right. So I got all my stuff. I'm ready to go. Uh, and I hear them go into Julian's room and I rush out of my room. And right as I set foot in the bathroom, Don goes, Hey, Chris, Julian has something he would like to say to you. And I was like, fucking no, no I don't. Oh my God. This is the worst <laughs> possible time. And of course he comes out and he goes, Hey man, I just wanted to talk to you about that night. And I was like, mm-hmm, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. I got to jump. And he's like, no, no, no. I want to give you a proper apology. And I was like, all is forgiven. We are good. We are all set to go. I have, and he's like, no, no, no. What I did was inappropriate. I wasn't, I, you know, taking my medication. I just wanted to let you know that, that, you know, what uh, I, what I did wasn't cool. And I, and I'm really sorry for what happened. 
Uh, I'm back on my meds. I'm going back home. I'm taking care of things now. I'm going to, you know, therapy and all that. And I was like, hey, man, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you, but I really got to get into the shower here. And then I shut the door and I had to like, you know, get rid of my underpants. And, I, and immediately as I got into the shower, I was like, okay, you, you kind of just yelled at a person trying to give you a genuine apology for something that they did. Uh, and, I, and I felt like an asshole. So I like cleaned up and I'm now in my towel, still kind of wet. And I opened the door and Julian is on his way out. And I was like, hey, man. I, I'm so sorry. There was like a thing I had to. And he was like, no, 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 I get it. I get that. I don't deserve all the forgiveness. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not that's not the thing that I meant. I'm, I was like, no, no, I'm sorry. And he was like, no, 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 it's cool. I just need you to know how genuinely sorry I am for what happened that night. And I was like, no, no, I get it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. And he was like, I will see you later. And I hope I wish you luck with everything uh, in all of your endeavors and he leaves and I'm just standing there in, in a towel. And I was just like, fuck, I kind of <laughs> screwed all this up. Right. And like every so often I will think about Julian and wherever he is, uh, I hope that he is still the fucking coolest. You know, <laughs> that's what I wish.